Let's open the dataset I create. It's about the marital status, information for people living in Illinois and Indiana. The No for Divorce Law took effect in 1973 in Indiana, but it was not implemented in Illinois until 10 years later in 1984. The No for Divorce Law makes divorce easier. I wonder whether the law increases divorce probability. The treatment here is the enforcement of the law in 1973. The treaty group is the families in Indiana. The control group is the families in Illinois. I collected the marital status information before and after the intervention of the law. I compare the after and before outcomes in Indiana to the after and before outcomes in Illinois. The variable DIV indicates people's marital status. It's equal to 1 if divorced. It's 0 if married. The variable after indicates the time periods. It's equal to 1 if it's after the implementation of the no for divorce law. It's equal to 0 if it's before the enforcement of the no for divorce law. The treaty variable is equal to 1 if living in Indiana and 0 if living in Illinois. There are various ways to perform the difference in differences analysis in data. First, let's tabulate the statistics in a two-way table. We could type tabulate followed by the treated variable and the after variable. We use the summarize option to show the mean of divorce. I also applied the no frequency and no standard deviation options. Here we have the 2 by 2 table of the basic difference in differences estimates. We see that for the treated group Indiana, the average divorce probability increases by 5.5 percentage points from 10.6 to 16.2. In the control group in Illinois, the divorce probability also increases by around 3.6 percentage points. So the difference in differences estimate is around 2 percentage points. In other words, the no for divorce law enforced in Indiana actually raises the divorce likelihood by around 2 percentage points. We can also use the regression commands to perform the difference in difference regression. The i dot prefix tells data they are dummy variables. The double hashes specify the interaction between treatment and time period. Let's execute the regression. And here's the output. Before the treatment, the treated state in the end had a 3.7 percentage points higher divorce probability than the control state Illinois. For the control state Illinois, the divorce probability increases by 3.6 percentage points after treatment. The coefficient of the interaction term is the estimate of the average treatment effect. It is around 2 percentage points. It is the number we calculated using tabulation. It's not statistically significant at the 10 percent level. We can use a user written command diff to obtain the same result. You can also use the command did regress to perform the difference in differences estimation in stata 17. If we are worried about the parallel trend assumption, we could add control variables to the model. For example, the family income and the number of children could affect the divorce decision. 
we can add them as control variables. The result shows that more children or higher annual family income reduces divorce. The average treatment effect of the no-fault divorce law drops to 1.2 percentage points. It's still not significant. The diff command produces identical results. Thank you for watching this video.